Hello everybody, and as you can see from that Kaz, <laughs> the uh, Chaos have received this match. The match is Mankeys versus Dionysian in the first round of the CCL playoffs. And uh, yeah, he's got quite a good team of Mankeys actually, and Dio is only down 100 TV. He's bought a bribe. That's right, Jimmy, and I'm Skurametso, and I'm going to talk in a high-energy way without really knowing what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, no. It's a war of the words is kicking off. <laughs> Hello, PC. <laughs> Evening, Jimmy. How are you, sir? I am wonderful, thanks. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> Ups and downs, you know. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Well, my chalice was awful today. I played appallingly and got absolutely thumped, but, you know, oh that's life, isn't it? On that's... the plus side, my wife had a book launched today, so I'm now married oh, to a published nice. author. Nice. If you fancy a copy of Leading People in Change, then it is available on online book things, because bookstores aren't really a thing anymore. Are they? No, they're not. Jim Shard. Glorious. Well... I mean, they might be again. They're not right now, are they? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> I'm not the sharpest tool in the box. I've been on lockdown since 2000. <laughs> no different for me. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I was going to say, I thought that, uh, thought that court order had expired. <laughs> oh ho. Oh. Oh, yes, available at all good business style book thingies. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to haul the wife's book out. Why not? We make some money when it gets sold. Yeah, glorious. Proper and deal how... as well. She got like, you know, it's actually, she was given an advance to do it and all sorts. Proper, you know, not vanity publishing, proper actual publishing. Awesome. Dead proud of her. Awesome. So yeah, ups and downs, but that's life, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, everybody who said hello. Well, I haven't said hello to you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like one of the big ties of the first round, though, doesn't it? I mean, it this Mankers' his team is huge and nasty, and Dio's has perhaps seen slightly better days, but obviously a very talented coach and knows what he's doing with uh, with some races. Yeah, I mean, I think I think Mankers is actually favoured here, to be honest, with the. Uh... Slightly, his team is proper nasty looking, isn't it? Yeah, two tackle claw bombers. A lot of the time, they've only got one with tackle, but he's got two with tackle, and then he's got the yep. tackle claw mighty as well. Claw actually relevant against dark elves, whereas like yep. not so good against well, obviously shit against woodies apart from the tree, but yep. uh, not as good against high elves, is it? Because high elves have got like the speed of the catchers and stuff, whereas yeah, the catch are the ones you really want to hit with the high elves, and of course, claw doesn't do jack against them, but. No, as you said, against Dark Elves, it's a, it's a relevant thing to have. And to me, this is a beautifully built Chaos team. It's it's rowdy, it's got lots of aggressive tools, but it's not it's not just built to take out the other monsters, is it? It is, as you said. It's got some tools against the Elves. <laughs> My Dio's got some tools as well. Bosh. Dio. Very Welsh, isn't he, Dio? Yeah. If you consider Welsh to be someone with an English accent. <laughs> of course, you know, captain of Team Wales, so uh, that's a thing. Yeah, that is a very rowdy witch, isn't it? Both tackle and mighty blow and piling on. Uh, which does synergize quite well with her jumpy uppiness. Exactly, yes, very good. Well, thank you, Flicky, anyway. Hello. <laughs> One of the few elf pieces I don't personally hate seeing piling on on. Wow, really? Uh, yeah, also because a witch on the, you know, witch standing up, AV7, very, very hittable. Yeah. Um, on the ground, you know, yes, still at risk, but not as much at risk as some other elves. Because wow. they're going to get smashed if they're available anyway, so sometimes on the ground is as safe. And it doesn't limit their movement because of the jump up. Yes, yeah, jump up's really good. Um, have you won your first round yet? Have you won your first round match yet, Ducky? God, I nearly said a sentence. Because Dio's been saying as if, like, how's he going to beat Ducky as if as if this is a foregone conclusion, but it, it isn't, is it? <laughs> yes, uh, spoiler warning, but yes, Ducky uh, put away some dwarves in the first round. Took some injuries doing so, um, but, uh, you know, played quite well to do so. I think he would say himself his offence was perhaps a little rusty in places, but... Uh... He certainly pressured the dwarves very hard, made the, got a, a very nice blitz into an early touchdown, putting him a score ahead. 
and the Dwarves drew back for a 1-1. Uh, but they were quite lucky to get it, frankly. Mm -hmm. And then in the second half, Ducky uh, scored the winner. His team proper rowdy with a strength 5 uh, elf and a strength 4 wrestle leaping elf. Oh, yeah, the high elves. Yeah, I remember them. Oof. Man kiss the absolute banger. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's the route to winning this game, isn't it? It's killing lots of elves. And in the it first is. half, of course, you can throw some re-rolls at things if you've got a nice stable position. Is Dale going to go the foul here, though? Oof, he cut the cars, big cars. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a point of Armagon. It is a miss next game, which is probably the more serious thing. It always feels horrible to Apple, it, doesn't it? Because you're only 50 50 you're getting back for the match. Absolutely, but it is a doesn't nice elf. That's a four skill lineman there. Doesn't Apple. Oh, you, 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 says the French uh, Jim. <laughs> the French comment is elves. so much better than the British ones. <laughs> Two elves broken, one elf knocked out, and only a bench of ones. So already there's a max of ten elves can ever take the field at the rest of this game. Yeah, that, that, I like that putting that extra guy in. Yes, it exposes his cage a bit, but it really protects the foul, doesn't it? Otherwise, there could have been... Yeah, anyone that saw any of Dio's games last season, and indeed uh, Core's games, who ended up winning the Chalice, whereas, of course, Dio went out much earlier than that. <laughs> Um, we'll know that both of them are quite happy to put a foul in if there's a claw pommer on the ground. If there's a very dangerous piece they want to take down, they will absolutely put the boot in. Though perhaps with this few elves, a little less likely. Uh, he's got the he's got the bribe though. So. Oh yes, of course. Which I thought was pretty fucking optimistic to be honest. I kind of hate bribes, right? Like they let you high roll people, and they're good if you're doing well. But if 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 it's going yeah. badly, they just like you can't afford the position to foul, can you? So, yes, absolutely. It, it's the positional loss in putting enough around it to make the foul, you know, a good odds of actually achieving something. And even then, of course, it's still a one in six that you lose a piece as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really not a fan of rhymes. Uh, well, in this kind of situation, I'll be taking the apple all day. Yeah, um, I mean, like like me, I know you very often go with extra apothecaries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Particularly in an overtime format. It's keeping where you've got the TV on the pitch doing its job, isn't it? That, that can be invaluable. Yeah, I, I literally prefer, I pretty much always prefer the apple to two babes. I would only take two babes if like Undead or Nurgle or whatever, you know, where you just literally can't get an apple because the Igor is garbage. <laughs> Igor is garbage. I mean, it, it's, it's always, I think it's a self-solving problem with dwarves who should never take babes. Yes. Unless there's 50k you just can't spend or can't up to 60k for Boomer or Barrack. Yep. Another, another who I'd still book. rather have than a babe. But... Um, <laughs> I mean, I think you're right. There's a lot of teams where an apothecary, particularly if you're going to use it rowdily on an early KO. Yeah. Yeah, when you, when you compare, like, appoing a turn one or turn two KO to, like, having plus two to KOs, just appoing that yeah. is, is way better, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, when I, as I sometimes do, this is going to amaze some people in chat, when I sometimes coach pro elves, I think that's a team that can do very well with uh, an apothecary. Uh, sorry, with them, with babes, because yeah, you know AV never does yeah does go off the pitch just at hilarious and alarming rates when I coach it. Yeah, yeah, like, like seemingly never when I coach Norse against. Them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Norse are another one where I think a couple of babes can can be quite useful. Always going in hard. He's going and perhaps in. Of course, hard. we should start calling them kegs because they have been kegs for a while, and it's a little less toxic. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to wipe you up, Jim. You, know. <laughs> you succeeding? <laughs> no, it isn't. Oh, dear. Well, this is you know I like the sidestepper on here as well. Sidestepper on the Garda. Yep, that's a nice little one, isn't it? Well, if there is a route to the elves winning this, it is. It's pressuring this drive, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Particularly with the two elves dead already. And by, by dead, I mean not coming back for the casualty box. Yeah. Three <coughs> players off. But he's, he's got two players off himself now. So it's... Yes. He's chipping back. He goes for the nicest foul. Oh, 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 disgusting! <laughs> Instant apple there. Well... At least the bribe did do its job and didn't, uh, didn't snake. 
oh my god, I would be raging if I was man because I was like, I even put that guy in yeah. so he couldn't get assists. I even put the guy in so that it wouldn't be any assists. Yeah. And he still chips the piece with a cheeky no assist foul. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> of course, lovers of discussing the future, you will find, of course, that that, uh, that guard that was standing over there to protect it from the single assist on the foul, in Bud Bowl 2020, guard, as far as we can tell, it hasn't been errated, is going to count on and against fouls. Mm. Yeah, wow, good. instant repay for that <laughs> foul there. And then Dio apples that, make sure he gets full use out of the apple. It is an elf we'll see again, but of course that's four elves off the pitch. We are down to seven. Is that what you tend to call peak elf, Jim? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> do you do you hit the uh, do you hit the splodge stepper here with the uh, with the rackle next to him? See if yes, I think I think you, it, it demands hitting. The problem is, of course, is it's slightly unpicking your cage, but you've still got a spare beastman that can drop back into there if you need to. It's getting off the witch that's the difficulty, isn't it? Yeah. You might have to just settle for hitting her afterwards, leaving that little hole in your cage, and hoping that uh, recovering the ball afterwards is tricky. If uh, if they do take the uh, the red dice with a rackler, is there a rackler around on the... Uh, I don't see one on the dwarfs. Are they at Dark Elves? No, I don't think so. Um, this is the first round of this playoffs table leg. Like, this is like the round of 64. <laughs> and it could have been it could have been the final. <laughs> and of course the problem with opening up that side is that it the recovery isn't that terrible. It's gonna be very hard to both keep both those pieces off with a ball carrier and to close the, the front door to the other witch. Yeah, so you put that in to stop the side step first. That that was what I was wondering whether yeah. it was worth doing that or not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I mean I, I still think you have to, because otherwise it's it's right up in your cage. Yeah, I guess I guess you do. I mean, the problem here is closing that back door. It's it's not going to be easy. Mm. I mean, you can blitz off, but as you blitz off and take a single step forwards, and yeah. then move the remaining beast one step forwards mm, as, as two, well. But... Two forward, right? You got you can blitz go two forward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It leaves a non-tackle route in with only. Uh, only two minuses on the split. I might just settle for the one. Mm, then one, one ex more chance of him getting rid of the corner, isn't there? But I guess he's got. Yeah, there is well. absolutely. Yeah, maybe just one forward. But I think the I think the uh, the chaos warrior that is on the right hand side, if you're behind the beastman at the moment at the front, I don't think that can afford to hit this turn because no, it's a side step. Gets the power but doesn't get the AV break. Yeah. And we are down to six active elves with the stun on the sun, the uh, out to the right though. Yep. But one of them is plus agility. There isn't a route in that isn't covered by guard when you get there though, so you know at least the cage has that stability to it. Yeah, the lack and of the back corner that is the back corner that's based is a stand firm, isn't it? Yep. And the, and the thing is the lack of guard for Dio isn't there. There's like. Yeah. What can even do here, like really. It's well, short of a rackle piece, it's 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 not easy to see even getting in there being of much use, is it? No, no, he really needed a guard of his own to to just do something. I think here, yeah, this is looking pretty pretty dire yeah. for Dio, I think. It's perhaps the worry about two very very feisty witches, both of which have mighty blow. One of which is a juggernaut. Mm -hmm. The other one, of which, as we said, is a piling on. A lot of people would have built one of those with Wrestle, but of course, then you can bang less men's. Yes, yeah, and Dio's nothing if not a banger. Jugs, <laughs> uh, which... I, 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 yeah, I don't hate the Jugs as the, as the other one, but... I'll... No, I don't, I don't hate a Jugs Mighty Blow, but I'm not sure it synergizes very well with a piling on Mighty Blow. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. But then you can't take guard, can you, so... No, you can't. Yeah, 
Oh, it reminds me of world class. I mean, I would, I would love to think that that AG5 would have been taking Wrestle at some point. Of course, it took the block before the AG. Mm. And then dodges the natural next skill or anything with AG5. So I, I don't think it's badly built. It's just this team is badly missing a, a wrestler. Yeah, well, I mean, it feels bad to give Wrestle to a blitzer, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> of course, yes, it wasn't. It's not a lineman with AG5, it's a blitzer. I've got all skills turned on for some reason. Uh, there we are. One more tap and I see things better. <laughs> World class, hello King Sir. There will be world class on there actually. Stats off of mugs. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> now are we uh, we relying on the divine tackle to get pushed and somehow oh. sidestep next to the ball and perhaps Mankis doesn't see it? We're just gonna bang out his claw from it because yeah, we're just dying. Bang out. Bang out the beastman and win that way. That's that's a good answer. <laughs> just killed stuff. Why, Go for why the kills. Think, I think if you just hurt things, it's <laughs> it's better that way. Mm. So now we are facing a situation where we've got uh, we've got four beastmen off as well as um, four elves. So it's a sevens game we're now in. <laughs> wow! Imagine being this, this is this is typically what happens when elves meet a bash team. <laughs> Obviously, it's <laughs> it does feel like that. <laughs> it's a classic matchup of the two bashy races. That's. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I would say that the chaos have got slightly more casualties than you would have expected at this point because we are uh, just entering turn five. <laughs> turn four. <laughs> turn four. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. But, um, certainly, <laughs> that's that's also true of the chaos, isn't it? Of the uh, dark elves. Sorry. Yeah. Who's this that speaking I hear? Of, speaking Hello. of chaos, even yeah. calcium. Hello, well, calcium. do you know what? I I heard I heard Purple Chess say this is a classic example of when elves played chaos, and I thought, yeah, I've got to come in and you know <laughs> still licking my wounds from getting drilled by Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> This literally just happened against me and Eliod. Honestly, it was. Oh, anyway, um, any any opportunity to laugh at Dio's misfortune, you know, it's uh, it's always a good thing, isn't it? Well, it, <laughs> looking misfortunate till he chipped yet another beastman, yeah. and that being one of the uh, the tackle claw pommers, suddenly yeah. things are looking massively up for him. Well, yeah. this is the myth. This is the myth with chaos, isn't it? Armor eight breaks, you know, and the yes, beastmen are vulnerable to mighty blow. Um, and just because you, you're packing a crap ton of Claw Mighty, you think you're suddenly invulnerable and you're really not. You're still one game away from disaster. So, yeah. I mean, people always think I'm crazy with dwarves if I go, go to war with chaos, but it's it's a war that sometimes can be won. You also need to enter, no need to win the hell to run away. But as you said, if you can bang on enough of the AVA, some of it should go. Yeah, and, and the thing is, of course, none of them start with block at all on the whole team, so no. they're paying a lot of TV to get to where like a lot of other teams are starting, aren't they? So they, they're kind of they're often behind on skills essentially. So like, while they've got like you know maybe four scary claw mighty players, which is it looks yeah. exactly what this team has got. The same dwarf team, dwarf t the dwarf team, the same TV just has like eleven mighty blow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on guard everywhere. So yes, and it levels I mean, out. It's, it's a hits. great leveler. Yeah, it's a great leveler. And it also, can there's, be. there's nothing easy about building chaos. Um, and if the chaos bash game doesn't work, so dwarves fall really back. If their bash game doesn't work, they fall really well back into like control and positioning. Whereas chaos, they have a little bit more speed, but they can't control games like dwarves can. You know, so. They do I want to point out have strength or blitzing from absolutely everybody? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're quite good at they desperation can... players, aren't they? Chaos are pretty yeah. great at desperation players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Like when when the game, uh, but gets yeah, no, they they, they, they bloat up them. incredibly quickly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They're, they're they're often like as scary as they are. That scariness is often concentrated onto like a few players. I always and... think 
Yeah, I always think that's one of the reasons we tend to see a Mino, is just people feel they, they want that big guy, even if he's absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, no, you've got it all been, wrong, Purple Chess. Right. You've got it all wrong, mate. The reason we take Minos, right, is because we're channeling our inner stud man. That's what we're doing, yes. okay? Uh, we're taking our shirt off, waving it over our heads, going, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Chris, well, I, I thought crush. it was to give other, give other people a chance, basically. <laughs> Yeah, they, they are um, stupid to take, but they are great fun. I, I, what, I literally take Minos for the fun aspect. Whilst uh, Chaos do face some challenges in Blood Bowl 2020, there's no denying it. Um, but one thing I think they're really going to benefit from is the ability to roster a troll instead of the Minotaur. Yeah. Yeah, if they, if they existed, I would agree. <laughs> it's just going to do a lot a lot better for a Chaos team. It's much more efficient TV-wise. Uh, it can vomit, which is going to be hilarious. Yeah. Oh, and um, it means you can blitz with the people you want to be blitzing with, rather than having to do it with your minotaur. That's true. I, 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 have you got the? Have you got my stream on PC? Go fuck yourself. Uh, I don't. I mean, I have it open, but I've actually been watching in the client because you know I'm trying to be professional. Well, well Kingslayer saying hello, PC Jimmy. To hello, me, Kingslayer. <laughs> I see. Like that is it? No love for me then? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Everywhere I ever go, oh, Kingslayer oh. comes along and says hello. <laughs> Look at that! Um, which I love. Boom! He should feel free doing it. So now the elves are up on numbers. This is turning absolutely into a classic Bash versus Elf Fest. Mm. Dio has the cheek to, to show disdain for bangers. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> banging is what? Banging uh, is he's banging him out, isn't he? Johnny Five says, "Here, Jimmy, tell Kelsey to fuck off for me." Love you, man. Love you, man. <laughs> Kelsey, you should fuck off. Does it if I do it, I, I'm not? going to in a minute. I, I, I don't like coming along for too long because you, you are such a great commentator, PC. You intimidate me a little bit, you know. Oh, I'm dis. Don't, you should stay. I'm dis. I've got a, a steel bowl game on uh, Fumble to play in half an hour. Although the rate this is going, there's going to be two people left on the pitch, and someone will have won by then. <laughs> Oh, God, wrong with it. Dead! <laughs> wow. This is like my game yesterday, wasn't it? That was insane as well. I may have been exaggerating with two players. There may be none left by ten by nine o'clock. <laughs> UKTC. So how many? Um, how many dead is that so wow. far? Oh God! Two in Actual that Actual deaths turn. one, uh, but the chaos have had four injuries and one knockout, uh, oh. including two po uh, claw mighty blow beastmen. Mm -hmm. uh, one death on the elves and two other serious injuries and a badly hurt that was a path of crude. So it's it's four and four in terms of injuries, one and one in terms of knockouts, because obviously you get <laughs> four times as many injuries as knockouts in Blood Bowl. That's standard. Yeah. Um, Commodus Maximus is on the sideline going, are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got jump up, but he's got the double layer there. So he's, he's, he is defended against the jump up a little bit. And uh, also, oh. Lean Gary said hello, Calcium. So there you go. You've got you've got a bit of love I, there in the chat, Calcium. I, I, I think get this all, is going to get, get interesting in a, a turn or two when uh, when there isn't actually enough chaos people to form a cage. That's <laughs> where, where, where do you go then? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> He's just going to try mean, and hang on for the right now. We're six v six. It's it's. <laughs> I mean, they've each had five off in and. Let me point out, we are a quarter of the way through this game. We are guaranteed to have at least another 12 turns. It's, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Dio uh, channeling his uh, inner, there are no dice. Yeah, how's that working out for you, fuck nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't fuck, want to kill anyone. Fuck nuts, of course, Welsh for dickhead, isn't it? That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Kelsey, I'm pulling no punches. Uh, they're evenly bashed, aren't they? They've both got six players left. They've both taken four cars and a KO, and they've both had yep. a good player killed. <laughs> yeah, that's why Claws are lie, because you just don't need it, do you? You just need two rowdy witches. That is simply not yeah. true. The data does not support the you assertion. only got one now, the other one died. So. <laughs> yep. Uh, he's got the blood step on. I, I love that Dio is persisting with his plan of I'm still going to put a very expensive elf in your face every turn. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> joy of hope over experience. <laughs> oh, it seems Thanos has been playing. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That that's the best description I've heard of it. You should be in trouble for <laughs> oh, I It looks like I almost killed Ducky in chat. Sorry, Ducky. <laughs> yeah. oh, Do you know what? Blood Bowl is the winner here, isn't it? No, actually, we are all the winner because we're, we're all winners. To be get privileged to be watching wrecked. this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the winner here is definitely Ducky, who faces <laughs> the survivor. I'm not going to call it winner. But... <laughs> The, remains the riddled of the team, corpse yeah. of whatever comes out of this. <laughs> oh dear! Do you do you fish for the power? First action, fish for the power on that blood stepper. Well, you're not going to be able to form a cage, even if you do. Um, <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Yeah, I think you just punch it. I mean, you see what I, happens. I got probably got come around with there. the tackle piece at the yeah. back. There's a mighty tackle piece that hasn't died yeah. yet. Um, yeah, I guess you can also you know, dodge that, away from him, can't you? While it's alive, I might use that. Or hit the side stepper without tackle, because that will go brilliantly. That's a yeah. good plan. I mean, it, I like there it. isn't a good plan at this point. It, yeah. The only plan is get yourself some pals. Yeah, I like that plan, because, um, you know, just fish Ooh. through a guy. Now, having we put the side steps right up in his face throughout this game so far... For the first time, the plan sort of works, and he could have sidestepped in towards the ball, but that would have been taking another hit. Yeah. And he chose not to, so perhaps... Perhaps was... And he also allowed him to um, some learning now. cancel the sidestep there. Yeah, guess so. how he really needs. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I thought, rowdy. He might have, I thought he might have sidestepped in the other one, but he didn't. Yeah. It does mean this cage can stabilise one step... The left of where it was last turn. Yeah, yeah, that was interesting from Dio. Ooh, I don't like the follow. I don't know why, but I, I just don't like it. <laughs> why would you follow that up? I don't. I'm a bit lost with that. Dio's Dio's obviously thinking four moves ahead. And I suppose this you can still guard cover shit the ball. Here, guys. <laughs> no, I mean you can still guard cover the ball, and even though the dodge in is now possible, particularly with the AG5 piece, it doesn't have. Uh, it just doesn't have anything to take this ball carrier out, does it? No, with guard covering it, you're looking at two red dice without wrestle. That's not brilliant. And I guess with this few pieces, that's, that'll do. Yeah. Not brilliant might be as much as you can hope for. <laughs> we might even see the legendary eye cage here, mightn't we? we Where might there's just do. one stood either side of the ball, and that'll <laughs> do, because you haven't got guard, come get me. Yeah. Hello, Doctor Satisfying. There is there is a dead character on both sides, uh, Witch Elf with Jugs and Mighty Bow, and uh, Beastman with Rackle and Movement. We've got a badly hurt Claw Pommer, and we've got a, a minus AV line, quite a nice line on. Uh, both apples used. <laughs> yeah, Four we're not, a, not quite a third of the way through this game, and we have a casualty count uh, comparable to to some small wars. <laughs> this game's got a couple more skulls left in it, isn't it? It's got a couple more rips in it. Yeah, for sure. I, I guess he's trying to think whether he pushes for the score or just thinks. Try to get. I, th I would just try and get out nil nil here. As horrible as it sounds. Or at least I think I might today. be tempted to potato it next turn if I chip a piece and get even six to five. But yeah, it's it's a very tough situation. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is be a, a touchdown. You've got to protect oh, against um, you've got to protect against Dio Stop scoring being here. Shit. That's the problem. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's so easy for the Dark Elves just to piss off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and obviously, if there was a wizard, then this would be a really key time for it. <laughs> Could you imagine if there was a wizard? <laughs> Six fucking <laughs> chaos on the field and he's got a wizard. Jesus Christ, that'd be horrific, wouldn't it? Uh, but thank thankfully there isn't. Yeah, yeah, he's going for the eye cage. Well, the I did cage. suggest that perhaps mm. that's the way to make it happen. It, uh, you love to see it, don't you? When done right, no can defence. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, it, it doesn't work if the opposition has even one guard, but this opposition doesn't have one guard, so... Yeah, unless you had a defensive work. ball carrier in Blood Bowl 3. Yes. <laughs> Which you probably won't. <laughs> even then, of course, it doesn't work on your turn. <laughs> Random comment for you. Oh, dear me. Yeah, he, he can't red dice into two dice, can he? I mean, it's technically no. It, it's red. You can two. You can two red into one dice. But you'd have to put two side steppers right on the line to do it on the edge, um, and it, it, you know, it's still two red into one die, and that's not ideal by any means. So, so instead, we're going to go and bang a piece because it's been the theme of the game. So let's stick with that. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally, bang on all men's. What has been great about this half, of course, is that the casualties have pretty much stayed even all the way through. You know, one team's got one up on the other, but then they've pretty much always equalised. So <laughs> they're both desperately short at the same rate. There's never been a moment where one could just completely overpower the other, you know, with a two or three man advantage. I should say person, of course, shouldn't I? Eh, no, you can say man. <laughs> Probably it's even all right in this channel to say minotard, isn't it? <laughs> No, it's not. No. Okay. Good. But I don't... Min I don't Minotaur! <laughs> That's yeah. how it's said, isn't it? Minotaur. Yeah, what? It's American, a minotaur. If you're American, it's a minotaur! <laughs> no, we, we invented English, hence the name. We get to decide. <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking minotaur. Thank you very much. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> And if you know your Greek myths, there was quite a lot of fucking of Minotaurs. Remember this too. <laughs> nice. Zeus or Zeus, of course, having a habit of appearing to women as either a Minotaur or a bull and impregnating them. But then I'm sure most of the chat knew that. He was a right player, wasn't he? <laughs> he was. Fair. Feisty. End the turn for fuck's sake! Keep it in his trousers. End the fucking turn, oh, man! Oh, now, interesting position there for the sidestep. Dio is stepping to the ball. Of the, as we all know, having read Reddit, that's pretty much game. Yeah. And with a sidestep either side and very little tackle that can get over there and sort that out. Yeah, that's why I didn't like this going over here because now it's, yeah. it's disconnected. Well, it, 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 I mean, the eye cage, if you were going to do it, you had to push it forward, surely. But this is the big problem with it is. Oh, double one. Oh, the snake there. Wow. Fuck's but it still leaves them the key tackler Fucking miles shit. away from those side steppers. Yes, but he, he, he can and blitz. Now, of course, he can blitz can away look the diamond at, uh, tackle, can he? He can blitz away the diamond tackle, so he can get the two plus yes. away. Yes. Um, yes, except that it's um, yeah, he can get over there and then he can hit the uh, one of the side steppers, obviously with the front of the eye cage. But the odds of it going anywhere this turn yeah. seem a little thin, yeah. and it isn't in range. <laughs> Gets a couple of stuns here, he's, he could be right, couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice. I mean, stun. maybe it just try and stabilise in place, advance the Warriors. Particularly, he didn't blitz with the tackle piece, which is interesting. I think he just wants to shift this uh, diamond tackle. Hand off the Warrior. Oh, like, bloody, that would be that would be rowdy. That would be rowdy. He has got two heads, right? So it's it's a, only a three plus away. So like, he's pretty good odds to just dodge away if yeah. the diamond tackle actually. Oh, he fishes for the power and gets it. <laughs> Dirty Dino. Well, you know, Dionysian is going to be telling himself that that was the right line he found there. So. <laughs> Not a kill! <laughs> wow. Ready then. 
glorious yeah, fifth completely round. unexpected turn. The Bash team is slightly out bashing the Elves now. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. How do you like your team in the morning, Dio? I like my team fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. This is brutal, isn't it? Of course, you know, we are taking the piss here, but Dionysian, very well known as a very cerebral, cerebral, very thinking, very considered coach that does love to bang on men. I thought you were going to say yeah. conceited yeah. then. <laughs> yeah, all well. of that. And that's, that's exactly why I hate him, because he's frankly better than me. I hate it, honestly. He winds me up. <laughs> okay, Kelsey, but if, if, if you hate people that are better oh, than mate, you, I don't take no All right, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, I <laughs> left myself <laughs> wide open for that one, didn't I? <laughs> I was basically a self-banging calcium. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Honestly, I left myself so wide open for that. It was like being with Zigney's mum again. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, Lord. I was going to say like Wendy with the back door when you were... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we get another pow. A full oh, pow. <sighs> Yeah, that suddenly the uh, the big yellow dice have come, and the elves have gone. It <laughs> does look like we are dodging away. Actually, cage up here. Yeah, literal cage. Unbelievable. Yes, yeah, a proper four-man cage. Wow. We still need to make the two plus away, though, don't we? Yes. This kind of turn would break a mortal chaos coach. Okay, but we are talking about the chess computer that is Dio right now. So, <laughs> and I'm pretty certain what will be going through his head now is this is fine. Yep, this is fine. It's fine. Adversity's good. Uh, anyone wondering why it was a why Jimmy said it was a three plus? Of course, away from diving tackle, it's because we have there both a plus agility and two headed beast. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he was in the prison showers, right? And Jesus and his posse walked in. And they said, your ass is mine. I wonder if Dio would be thinking to himself, this is fine. <laughs> He'd be looking at the equity of that situation. <laughs> <laughs> and where his maximum advantage is. <laughs> I, I would suggest it start with one of the little little guys and work, work your way up. <laughs> 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 Purple chest taking jokes to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, Pint of mind bleach, please, barkeep. <laughs> yeah, he's, he can get the 1D, can't he? The, the fucking uh, eye cage probably would have been better he, than the real cage. Yeah, he definitely can. And, uh, it, you know, there is a, it is a two heads plus agility beast, but it doesn't have dodge. So, of course, that's a, a five plus if you can get the one die. Yeah, and it's a... Uh... What is it? A three plus dodge in without without tackle without dodge because he's got tackle. Can tag yep. him. Tag the two guys who might receive the bounce. And then. But there is, of course, shot. you know, there is a reroll, so you can make that a three plus with reroll. But then, of course, you haven't got it for the hit. Yeah. But if you can make either the three plus or the five plus without, then phew, these elves could be. I mean, they're still not going to score, but uh, I suppose they technically they could. could. They the could sidestepper score, on yeah. the edge could still get in range. Yeah, couldn't they? they absolutely could score. Yeah. Yep, the plus agility sweeps it up, hands it off to uh, the, uh, the sidestepper, and he's gone, daddy, gone. I'll tell you what, this, the amount of death I've seen in Blood Bowl 2 over the last few days. I might Makes the three plus. Yeah, Doesn't well, make the in. five plus. In comes the reroll, mm. and... No. Uh, I am wondering if Cyanide just pressed the big red fuck it button. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit busy optimising their exploitation of the community uh, for Blood Bowl 3 to uh, to care what happens here right now. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing, you know, if we yep. want Blood Bowl to succeed, it has to be profitable. Companies need to make money or they're not going to make Blood Bowl games. Yep. So Dio has, unfortunately he tried it, and uh, who wouldn't have done in that situation? Mankis did leave that a little bit open. I do think perhaps the eye cage could have been a bit better, but <clears throat> you know, when you've got a full cage available, I think everyone would probably have uh, looked at that first. 
Yeah. So he did get the uh, get the three plus to get in there. Didn't get the five plus on two dice, and has instead settled for the sidestep around the front, and his remaining witch out on the side on the other beastman. So you take the witch out and then two GFI for the score, do you? Yeah. You, you can't go through the sidestep, can you? I mean, because you've got enough mens to get a push on the witch, first of all, and then a two die to move her again. Yeah. Giving you the route. Yeah. Yeah, blitzer then blocker. Double GFI. I'm just, just, you don't, chat, you just um, don't mess with the sidestepper at all. Yeah. Looks like Martin Septim wrecked Shurg um, Shurgel. Shurgel. Oh, not my boy, Circle. <laughs> not my boy, Circle. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. He's not doing that. <laughs> yeah, oh, so he's, no, looks like he's found the plan, I thought. Oh, okay, yeah, he's doing it that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, pushing yeah, the witch doesn't... first with the beastman. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Do you? No, I, absolutely. I would have gone the blitz with the claw mighty first, just for the mighty blow hit. Maybe he's killer, you know. Not yeah, push her around the front and then push her further forwards with the yeah. beastman. Yeah, yeah, that works too. But this way, if you get the lovely pow on the uh, on the first hit, you've got a blitz to try and hit um, one of the elves on the side. Oh, he's doing he's blitz to the side okay. step. No, I, I, <laughs> I did not like don't that. like that as much, but he finds the pow. <laughs> I mean, of course, with agility four and two heads, he's not that worried about having to go through one turn. He's only going to go for it after. It's, it's the same two plus. Yeah, and he's got this hit, so... Yeah. Only so now it's down to a single two plus, plus, so that probably is better. Yeah, it might be actually. Yeah, yeah, good. Because even if he, yeah, even if it yeah, just moved it... him, it was still two plus two plus. Mm. Yeah. And the first fail in probably a better place. Not that a ball recovery is an issue here for him. Yeah. And he no. does take the bonus hit instead of covering the go for it with it, which I don't hate. He's killed so many elves that killing another would be great. Yeah. Yeah, no, I quite like that actually. Yeah, because you don't want to make yourself do an extra two plus. So, yeah. No, I won't give in. No, it's a better route because if he gets the power, it is a single two plus, and, and if he doesn't, it's still just two two pluses. I will yeah. defend. So that is a better plan. Um, but it, you know, it worked, and he is home for his touchdown. <laughs> it worked, therefore it was right. <laughs> well, who's to say if it was right or wrong, Jim? That's that's not for you and me to decide. <laughs> you can never tell if somebody's made a mistake in Blood Bowl. <laughs> I mean, you sometimes can if it's a dodge on, like, turn eight, and, you know, they perhaps didn't need to dodge. Yeah. But outside of that, it's all about opinions. <laughs> oh, dear. And yeah, hello, K-Fog. I'm very happy that Martin Septon wrecked Sergal because, you know, we all know why. <laughs> now, a double, uh, double KO failure there, so we do have uh, exactly eight Chaos trying to stop the seven Dark Elves one turning. He doesn't have plus movement, he does have a plus edge. Is seven the yeah. minimum for a one turn? Seven has always been sort of founded around as a minimum number of players for a one turn. It can be done. It's by no means easy. And I I mean, the, the sidestepper really helps. The frenzy really, really helps. Mm. I've got a feeling he might need a quick snap. Yeah, I think you do. With only move seven. I mean, I'm not the best one turner in the world. I can do it with, you know, teams that come with something with AV with move eight. Uh, but then I think just about everybody can if they're any. What's reasonable. that for you? A double movement runner? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I coach a lot of high elves in the White Owl League. Yeah, the setup. Yeah, the setup is poor, isn't it? The, the setup. Yeah, is that's a that's really a setup good. for a, a riot, really, isn't it? Yeah, but even then, I just have them. I mean, the, the defense is really poor, isn't it, with all three next to each other? Gives you the yes. Phil, but he's not going for it. No. He's not. No, the way he set up, I thought it was... Uh, and I might be wrong. I mean, perhaps you can't do it without a move eight at these numbers. I think you could have set up for the quick snap. I think you probably need the quick snap. Right. I, I don't know, but I think you probably need the quick snap. But frankly, with two dead elves already, it's it's easy to be depressed. Even uh, you know, Dio is very proudly a very emotional man. Wears his heart <laughs> right out and sleeve. He just doesn't have a heart. <laughs> no, every time I say he's proud to control his emotions, he tells me off and says I don't understand him. So I'm I'm not saying that anymore. Okay. Fair enough. 
Can you do a move six one turn with a tree in the middle of it? No, you can't. But if there's two oh, turns left, you don't need to try. <laughs> Definitely 100% is impossible. Yeah, and if you have two turns, perhaps don't even think about it. <laughs> I don't think that's even possible with a juggernaut piece and a sidestep. I still think you're completely screwed. Yeah, because well, yeah, you, need, you need to block the tree if the tree's yeah. in the middle. Right, so the Chaos get a piece back, putting them up to a mighty nine. Oh dear, this is looking real dodgy for Dion now. And that looks the, like, uh, that the looks like a lot of players, doesn't it? Looks like a it lot of players. It suddenly does, doesn't it? <laughs> like, wow, I'm having to, to scroll out a bit to make sure I fit them all on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Seven v nine, but I mean, look, if, if anyone can win the seventh place, it's elves, isn't it? Well, I mean, the good thing with elves is, of course, they're very used to playing shorthanded and to turning that advantage into, I mean, you can outnumber nine people with seven as long as you leave three of them over one side of the pitch. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, elves are particularly proficient Stop at that, drawing a couple of pieces away from where you don't want them to be. Ah! And suddenly all your team on a couple of two pluses sweeps over to the other side and you find yourself outnumbering them. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting how wide the chaos are choosing to set here. And the answer is they are guarding the wings a little bit. They don't want to give the elves a free rundown to try and get that knockout back and go uh, perhaps to 9-8. And uh, with the Chaos needing to score for 2-1. You just realised that, that was, they were going to get surfed, I think. So yeah, they were going to get <laughs> smashed to pieces and surfed on a quick snap. <laughs> I mean, I, it's very difficult to know what the hell the Dark Elves are going to try here, isn't it? But... I mean, I think a little bit of protection for the tackle piece he's keeping at the back. Yeah, for sure, yeah, keep him protected. I'd want someone either in front or behind it, because I think that might get smacked. But... Yeah, definitely. Oh, I don't like this, because these, these guys can get surfed, can they? Yeah, certainly on a quick snap, those are surfed, and that might be worth setting up for, because at this point, that's one of my expressions I do use. At this point, we know how this story tends to end, so how do you change that story? What are you going to tell people tomorrow? So that here's where it changed. Well, well what happened? What What's going to make that happen? Yeah. I usually went for my opponent just plays terribly and hands me the <laughs> Yeah, I got luckier than the other person. I mean, that is an option. But he set up a bit too far forwards and I was able to surf one from the kickoff. You know, I can see that being how this story changes. <laughs> and sure enough, he has set up to take advantage of that on a quick snap. So... I'm not sure I like them being quite that far forwards. I know that we teach that to new players, you know, set up two steps back in case of quick snap. And then when you get more advanced, there are times that you're going to risk it because you want that pressure up in their face. But oh, I'm not sure this is one of them. Another get the ref. This is the second get the ref, isn't it? Yeah, they've uh, both got two bribes. Yep. <laughs> Such a waste. Such a waste. Yeah, did you see the early foul, Calcium, that took out the first tackle beast? Uh, no, I joined about turn five, turn six. So I don't um, mind not going know. for the surf here, by the way. I would have gone yeah. for the surf. You would have got it as well. Maybe he thought it was too many men commitment. Yes, I mean, presumably we're going to see this ball dackered, but... I sorry, I don't I don't particularly love that name. Uh, the withdrawn mm -hmm. offence. And this pylon against two bribes. Dangerous. Yeah. It certainly don't, should don't be. Like the pylon there. Don't like the pylon. But again, Dio is known sometimes for sacrificing a, a foul bait piece. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. Because if what too many of the chaos sweep over to try and uh, smash out this sidestepping blitzer and then also to put a foul in on the witch, then of course that's gonna create holes over the other side for the other elf. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the thing, right? That side blood stepper is pretty much the best player he can possibly hit. So, pretty sure that's who he wants to be blitzing already. Oh, absolutely. Dio's going for the quick score here to try and get the knockout back and turn the chaos over. If this goes to overtime, surely at some point we're going to see even less elves. I really like, I really like the quick score here. The longer yeah. you let this half go on, the more likely you are to lose elves. So, the quick score is the right play here. Yeah, and then hope, hope for a man kiss to shit the bed or roll horrendously on his own drive. 
Well, I mean, a lot of kickoff results do favour elves. Yeah, blitz. Yeah, pretty much get up for a blitz. Even perfect defence. Um, you know, a deep kick, any kind of misfield. It's all sorts of things that can go right for the elves. I haven't yeah. checked actually. Would a pitch invasion be useful? The uh, no, it's Mankiz who has the fame, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now we did spot. There's two bribes. Do we think Dio's going to put a little, little, uh, little foul in on this <coughs> uh, this downed beast guard? Try and get one of the numbers back. I think it's risky to do with his his already ball defense is pretty. It's only a yeah, one in six, right. even if the one in three chance of the ref getting past. But yes, it would leave the back door swinging open, wouldn't it? Yeah. Then I don't know if Dio likes his back door being. Uh... And it is only a move five piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. It would five. be two go for it oh, to get there. Oh, no, put I'm the foul in. Thinking about it. So I don't like the way I don't like the way he set up that tackle, Claw Mighty. Surely that that Chaos Warrior should have been centre pitch, so he could yeah. respond to both sides. Um, setting he... him up on the left or the right has opened this up, hasn't it? Yeah. But then if you don't, you've got to, for the position you wanted to take, you'd have to expose the plus agility ball handler. Or you'd have to go narrower. Yeah. Oh, oh he does out. put the foul in. I, I thought that was coming. Wow. And it does get yet another injury. Only a badly hurt, but again, it does equalise those numbers. And the bribe hasn't gone. Chipping away, innit? And with a DT, with two bribes, why not? Yeah, still um, both got uh, two well, bribes. Why not? Because it's it a was, double. I think it was two five. go for it's there that would have frightened me as much as the the idea of the bribe failing. Yeah, yeah. Or the, I would, I would, uh, you know, if he was in range, I would have done it hundred percent. But the two GFIs to do it. Whew. And neither of these teams long on uh, equity with three rerolls each. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. Cruiser. Yeah, it's like I guess it's that desperate that he's just got to go for the GFIs and hope he. Does it? Yeah. Well, every time I say there is absolutely no way this cup game's going to overtime, it then goes to overtime. <laughs> there is absolutely no way this cup game's going to overtime. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point from Satterfield as well. Longer run up. Yeah, that's good. Very good point. She just 2D blitz this uh, sidestepper and then, uh, and then foul the witch. I think uh, you. I think if I was the chaos, I'd be stealing one from um, chaos from Dio's own playbook here, which is not worrying about them scoring yep. in three if they really want to, as long as I hurt some men and get the ball back in my hands, I'm still winning the game. I'd be taking the low-hanging fruit here. I'd be hitting that rookie lino just to even the numbers up. Um, elves being up numbers here is bad news, so I'd be looking to trim them a little bit. Interesting. I really like going for that. I really like going for the uh, blood stepper and then getting the foul on the witch. I would really like that. It's it's a big target, isn't it? And difficult to turn down. But Hello. he's got the plow. Just I just briefly want to check, Calcium. You do know that eight is still more than. All right, so. calm down. <laughs> We're talking about elves here, aren't we? We're talking about elves. Okay, yeah, no, you, elves, you can times it by two, that's fair. <laughs> I don't like that sidestep, because now he can pile on. Yeah. He can't be fouled very easily, and he can still get people in around the ball. I would pile Although on. Although we've now. seen Dio foul people without assists and get, uh, get injuries before get now, so yeah. I, I'm not sure that'll stop him, but I, I tend to agree. I would have sidestepped away. Yep, and then he gets... <sighs> The pylon gets the chip, yeah, and we're back to yeah. a two-man chaos advantage. And that, yeah. that's a big chip as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. huge. And it, huge. And it could chip. be the witch as well. Yeah, because if yeah. he, if he signs step away, he's got to follow you, and then, but well, then he probably doesn't follow you, right? Because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to follow you and then get hit by the witch elf on a jump up. But he also doesn't yep. want to pile on right next to two players. So like. I think if you size up away, it's definitely the best player there. Yes, and if you pile on there, also you reduce the one assist you can get on this witch for the foul. Yeah, yeah. Because right now, with two bribes, I am fouling that witch. Oh, yeah. With two assists, probably. One or two. I would go with two. I <laughs> know, oh, only problem one, with, isn't it? The yeah, problem with one. two, Jim, I mean, you can get two, but the problem is you then need to cancel the anti-assist from the ball carrier. Yeah, no, I'd still would. I still would just... I mean, I don't hate that because it ends up putting some pieces on the ball carrier, but it doesn't give you enough protection in front of this drive, does it? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't care. <laughs> well, I mean, as I said, the DO way is to just not care about them scoring as long as uh, you get the ball back in your hand. 
Yeah. Um, bribe gone, but is the player. Oh. No, BB2, can you use both bribes? Yeah, if you can, the first yeah. one fails? Yeah. Well, yeah, then whilst you've got two, it's, it's super safe, isn't it? That's a yeah. full-on 1 in 36 to lose the player. Yeah. And now down to one, perhaps it's worth thinking a little harder about just throwing a casual foul in every round. He's down to zero now, but, Mankers, isn't he? Mankers used both bribes there. Yes, yes, you're right. Dio still has two. Yeah. Mankers has none. Yeah. No, I did miss the first one going. You're absolutely spot on. There's not a lot between the two of them right now, is there? You know, I, I, I really like the That's DP with the three, two bribes. But... Oh, it's the part. Oh, do you mean in numbers, right? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, in sort of, um, in probability of winning this game, you know, the DP versus the Claw Mighty. Um, oh, Christ, I, I wouldn't know how to call this. I mean, even five elves, let alone if he gets, uh, there's two knockouts. Remember, he might be back to seven for the next drive. Any kind of incident on the kickoff, you know, I'd put some money then on the elves, even with this view. Yeah, yeah. But if the chaos can bang that just even one more elf out, let alone if the chaos don't come back, then I definitely put my money on them. Yeah. As it is right now, the only thing I'm putting money on is one one. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's looking like he's going to score, isn't it? It's, it doesn't mm -hmm. seem to be a way for Mancus to stop him scoring. All he's got to do no. now is play sensibly this turn and make sure that Dio's got to score turn eleven. Yeah, but with the casualty and the KO, I think I think Mankis would have taken that at the start of last turn and said sure, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, great turn for Mankis. I mean, what what a game this has been! It, with the number of casualties coming in, the fact they stayed so even so long is what's given us the cracker that we've been witnessing. And as we said, I I I can't call it from here right now. I don't have a clue how this one ends. Normally, games like this are one-sided affairs, aren't they? With this kind of attrition, it's more often yeah. than not centered on one team and the game's over by turn 10 you know so yeah this has been amazing frankly the only thing i'd put money on is sales in hand cream and rubber gloves being quite high in ducky's local area <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh, dear me. yeah i mean it is quite a canoring threat i'd still i'd still double double him up and uh get people deep here and you know just got to like you've got the bigger mana advantage now, haven't you? As the chaos, you've just got to make sure yeah. you squeeze. Unfortunately, all, you're all a little blindsided to get round in front of this drive, and with it being AG5, you'd really need a lot of things in front of it. Yeah. So perhaps you just settle for you know piling on another man and, and putting a lot of threat in, making them score. Yeah, I mean you've got to, you've got to, you've got to cover him, haven't you? That's the thing. You've got to cover yeah. the, the stall. Is the big thing. Yeah, so you've got to get some midfield people down as well as some pressure around the ball area. We all need pressure around the ball area. Yeah, definitely squeeze that ball hard. <laughs> Sorry, Moradan. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, whoever wins is is probably not looking forward to the next game. And as well as, of course, some ball pressure, you do need something in the middle, and ideally something up the back at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, you can't leave any <laughs> hole unfilled. Oh, I almost got through that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for demonetizing you there, Jim. <laughs> no problem. Looks like he's not biting on this uh, canoring threat. But I would have done just because you've got more men, so I was yeah. scared. I would have stuck a couple of guys on him. I think we're going to see. We can't see another foul, though, can we? I think it's just going to settle for some pressure. But I think the remaining guys that haven't moved do genuinely have to get into the midfield area and stop the swap, the swap here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, having said that, Dio may well be thinking, I just need to get those KOs back and I can possibly turn him over. Yeah, J5, <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that much. <laughs> That's the annual earnings of the JFW. <laughs> it's really tragic that... Uh... YouTube demonetizes all of the JFW stuff just because of you know the wrestlers' entrance musics are copyrighted by Double Double E. Very, very sad about that. 
<laughs> because of your response to Goliath and all the furries. No, that that's fine. It's just literally, literally because of the, uh, just uh, the, of the entrance music. That is that's a bit. It's a bit surely weird. it's fair usage of you know the the game must have paid for the DRMs on them. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 a shame, isn't it? Like so there you go. I mean, it wouldn't be much, obviously, because <laughs> not exactly they're not exactly uh, big watchers. But you know, it's it's the love, isn't it? That's the thing with the JFW. Yeah. Yeah, for anyone that hasn't found that love for the JFW, I would urge you to. It's um, it's an awesome spectacle. <laughs> if you haven't seen Elliot's entrance or Trific's <laughs> tiny package, then you are definitely missing out. <laughs> yep. I think you can get one more turn of stall, stall here. Um, if, like me, you have nightmares filled with Lemon is Good's face <laughs> and just Joe doing horrible things to you, then... <laughs> 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 get off my fucking pitch, prick. You can get us turn stalling, but <laughs> is it worth it? Is it not worth just seeing right now if you can get those KOs back? Mm, no, there's, there's two elves waiting to leap up and say, let's have at it. <laughs> oh, glorious looking. Yeah. It's what, two two pluses and a three plus two plus to stall? But no, straight banging it in. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's, yeah, it's, I, I don't hate that at all. Make as much difference as how he plays on defense and whether it's been no. and stuff. So yeah, fair enough. No, whether you give the chaos five or six, if you haven't got enough elves, and they do both come back, we definitely have a game on. Oh boy. Tell me there's a chance. <laughs> Eight men or seven men. Seven men. Seven elves versus uh, eight chaos. Yeah, As we said, possibly the most important thing that's going to happen right now is this kickoff. Is the kick deep? Is there a kickoff event? I mean, yeah. the fumble or the ball handling is is not very likely with an AG4 picking it up. But if he leaves him alone down there, you're going to see the elves flood into the backfield. Yeah, and how much does this beastman, which he had nine more SPP for kickoff return right now? <laughs> it would be glorious, but yeah, like it's really underrated, isn't it? Kickoff return, I think. Yeah, I and mean, I don't think it is by the slower teams like orcs and, and dwarves. You try and see, see people try and put the kickoff return on as quick as they can with something that they know they need to stabilize that that ball in a good position really, really early. Chaos, it's it's a much harder skill to take. There's so many good things you can get with access to you know, obviously all the strength skills as well as the uh, the general skills as well as mutations. There's so many tasty things you can put on a beast. Yeah. And of course, orc throwers and dwarf runners both start with sure hands, so yeah. there's one of the auto picks already taken. There's not a lot for yep. runners to take, is there, actually, on, on normals? You're like looking no. at the block. I mean, particularly if you are building a, a pure ball handler, if you want to build your. And um, with Mr. Throw, if you've got him at all, that's probably all he's useful for. <laughs> um, dwarf runners, of course, with a limited number of agility pieces and higher move pieces on dwarves. It's, it's, Sometimes very tempting to build your runner as a safety with tackle, possibly even you know, wrestle, maybe. But um, I try and get on kickoff return as soon as I can because getting that ball secure is so important. Yeah. Now we're seeing a very anti-blitz setup from the chaos here. Mm -hmm. Not over committing on the line of scrimmage and trying to stop the elves coming through in case of a blitz. But it is, of course, the most exciting kickoff event. <laughs> Nothing happens at all. <laughs> and a lovely one oh, for uh, the Chaos there to get the ball right in his hands. Yeah. And of course, that means the full movement available to the ball carrier, which means stabilizing in a cage, is child's play. Yeah. Even Calcium could handle that. Oh, was he gone? Oh. Oh. No point being rude to someone who isn't here. Calcium's actually a very good player nowadays. <laughs> Wait till he's gone. Brilliant. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell him that to his face, am I? God. <laughs> yeah, he's been playing very well recently, hasn't he? I've noticed his name go in uh, and yours already for the Blitz Pit qualification. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. He, he, he scuppered me in the, uh, oh, in the last one. Oh, you fucking bell end! But, Good. Uh... <laughs> Hopefully I'll get a bit of luck. A bit of luck. In a game that will forever go down as another game of Blood Bowl. Yeah. Yeah, 
was very exciting. He let Dino take the ball and got it away and scored. <laughs> but, but both of my Blitzpit qualifications ended exactly the same way. Wood Elves left in, one dice hit the ball, picked up two tackle zones, passed it away, scored. Could have ended that sentence at Wood Elves. We all knew yes. where it was going. Yeah, they, I could have messed up and let them have a 2D, right? They could have they could have yeah. outmashed me the way Sage did in one 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 naff thing on Fumble where I had I had undead and he had Wood Elves and he just beat the shit out of me. Um, no, I think that's kind of okay for the the elves. I mean I know they've got two stuns and one off the pitch, but it is only one off the pitch, I think. I think that's not the end of the world for them. I think it's, yeah. It does mean this is a very difficult turn. They've got to stop them advancing and get those stuns back active. Yeah. But simultaneously not put themselves in too much risk, which is not easy. Yeah, he's going for the Wrestle Wandy, isn't he, I think? I think he probably is. Otherwise, I think the sidestepper would be another step back. But, of course, using the bodies as part of his defence. Yes. There's some big brain stuff there. This is a two plus, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. About as much as he could have done, I think. That, that's about as good much as he could have hoped for. It, it still puts a line in front of the chaos in terms of moving forwards. The dead bodies are in some really good. The downed bodies are in some really good places for him there. Yeah, but I think he just goes up the, up the left hand side here, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, if you're behind the chaos, the right. Uh, if you're still looking from behind the, the elves, the left. I mean, either either flank is available. No, I like going I left might... from behind the chaos. Yeah, I might go up the left because you get the the hit on the rookie on the way through. Yeah, it's a nice easy piece to hit and still make some progress. Yeah. Looks like he's going up the right side though. His right. Yes. Perhaps yeah, he week. desperately wants to hit this witch. Yeah. Yeah, I guess hitting this witch is nice, isn't it? I don't know. I would have liked to have left those three, those three players away from the action, kind of thing, and then you know. Yeah, stuck like on a single uh, chaos warrior with stand firm. That yeah. quite appeals to me. Yeah. I mean, they are all. Uh, two of them are dodge pieces, aren't they? But still, you know, one in thirty sixes do happen, and they completely change games. He has to be hitting the witch with where he's put that uh, that guard beast, doesn't he? Yeah, sure. Yeah, and he's just caging up slightly to the side of where he was. The fact that the claw pom isn't blitzing <laughs> has yeah. confirmed the fact that the witch elf is the target. Yeah. It's the pal. No armor break. Is that still a thing? Wow. Turn twelve. We've got our first non-armor break turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it feels like, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to go back and check if that's true. It feels true. <laughs> and that's so much more important than being true. Yeah. And of course, what I, what I like about moving this cage to the side is the rookie lineman that is uh, unstunned and back next turn is under threat. It can't just stand up and move away. It has to dodge. Yeah. And of course, the guard either side of these three in the middle does keep the uh, the dirty player in a position where it's uh, it's going to struggle to get out easily. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. It's a very nice, it's a very nice ending position. I think Mankis has found there with the resources he's got available. Yeah. Do we see the swarm from Dio now? I think we might. I think we might just see a recovery turn where he tries to get the elves up and active again. Oh, I think I think we could see a, a belting the cage turn here. Uh, I mean, it's it's possible. That the, the problem with that is, again, another nice thing about the Mankey's position is, uh, as I said, the rookie is down in front of a piece that has mighty blow, so it, it doesn't want to just get up there. It either has to take that piece out as it does it, or dodge away. The other corner at the front is a stand firm, and the mighty blow tackle piece is at the back, where it's almost certainly going to be free to do whatever it wants next time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is going to try and hit that one in front of the rookie. That's when it stood up without dodging. I thought, is he going to make a fool of me? But no, he's hitting that one. <laughs> Are we going to see, we're going to see a two die frenzy, a deliberate frenzy trap here. Yep. But he gets the pal. 
look a dog. <laughs> Surely he's dodging out afterwards. Yeah. Full, full uh, necro coach blitz there. <laughs> now obviously he's only got five guys standing or whatever. Six, six players in the field, hasn't he? Yeah. So you can forgive him for that. <laughs> and edge <Edge4>. four. <laughs> And he's also thrown the dirty player under the bus. I, I get why. It means something's going to have to hit him and then not be able to move around much. Yeah. But every elf you lose at this point is an elf you really need to keep. I think that's okay. I think they're both kind of annoying, right? Stand firm, guard, blodge guard. Neither have got yeah. kill skills. No. Nope. So... No, Hang and it is AV7, isn't it? Right. Hang on a minute. Just, let's wrestling. just revisit what you just said, PC. Your your In comment. Turn, you sounded like the Sphinx sake. out of Mystery Men. In the fucking Remember that dude? Turn, man. The one who says, "You are what you say, and you say what you are." <laughs> you know, it, it was just like that. It was just like that, and it reminded me of the Sphinx. Mystery Men, which is one of the most underrated films of all time, is brilliant. Great but film. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> you must remember that film, Jim. I haven't seen it. What? Yeah. What? That's the ones like Mr. Furious and stuff in it. Oh, it's so yeah. good. Yeah, I it's haven't so seen good. it. I haven't seen it. Oh my god. It's such a good film. So you really want to tag the ball there, just not with the witch owl. Yeah. So now I... Now we're going to sweep around to the wall? <laughs> Johnny Five just said, Calcium just realised he hadn't argued with anyone in 10 minutes. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm dipping in and out because i got my kids running around and the last thing you want on your stream is listening to my kids going nuts. So that's why I'm dipping in and out. <laughs> All you missed is me saying something horrible about you, so it was, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, we both just said how good you've been playing Calcium, to be honest. No, I'm... I'm well, yesterday it was a horror show, but then you had one of them, Jim. I think we were having like twin syndrome horror shows or something. It was awful. Um, Sympathy shit play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, other than other than getting taken to other than getting taken to Brown Town by Elliot about half an hour ago, I've had a good day. <laughs> so, oh, really? Well, as I said, my chalice game was appalling today, but. Uh... My partner's joyful day. No, I got absolutely smashed to pieces by oh. vampires. I failed 18 of 18 dodge attempts, most of which were AG3, but some of which were AG2. Jimmy Fantastic. But 18 fails out of 18. Yikes. I killed one thrall. He um, badly injured or worse, uh, four dwarves. Yeah, those games happen. The matter yeah, those games up, happen. If you, if you roll a shit ton of ones, you're going to have a bad day in you. Yeah, yep. I mean, I, I made a couple of mistakes in the first couple of turns, and from there it just all fell to shit and ruin. <laughs> well, that's the thing, isn't it? When you when you roll bad, you're trying to recover from rolling bad, and it just compounds the mistakes yeah. you make, doesn't it? it yeah, it, I mean, it, I, I don't regret anything it, I did after about turn two, but except when I was already two touchdowns down, I set up badly and I put two pieces in the wrong places, but and that cost me a re-roll, but the game was already done. Yeah. But the first turn, I tried to get a bit rowdy. I mean, I was trying to get ahead on numbers because he had a huge number of thralls, and hence I had to win every drive with a few removals. Mm. And I advanced a couple of dwarves to try and take another thrall out, and I shouldn't have done, really. Yeah, yeah turn one is like the, the biggest threat turn, isn't it, from Vamps, basically? And it just allowed him right through the middle when my pickup failed. Nope. And from there on, it was you know, I was right up against it. And I could say he had very good dice, which he did, but... You know, that's going to happen. You need to be ready for that to happen. Yeah, I, I, so I, I lost. Do you, do you know what? I don't hate on people having good dice. I hate on myself having really crap dice. <laughs> you know? Well, again, that's going to happen. I, I hate it. Yeah. I mean, the, the only thing I hate is that the first couple of turns, I just didn't coach them very well. That's the bit I could have controlled and didn't. Yeah, I wonder who's going to I don't know why I is. tried what I tried, but it, it wasn't a good idea and it didn't work. So... <laughs> At least, do you know what, Purple Which Chairs, and I've, I've known you for quite a while now, along with Jimmy, from Fumble Days and that. And yeah, you've yeah. always been the type of guy that will say, yeah, do you know what, you, you know you're a top-tier player. There's no question about that. Like Jimmy, I'm you're, just you're lucky both top-tier players. Um, but you're also, you, you will also freely admit when you haven't played well or you've made mistakes, you oh, know, yeah. um, unlike, unlike a lot of mid-tier players or lower-tier players that think they play perfectly all the time and never make any mistakes ever you know so 
Um, I freely mistakes. admit I make mistakes almost every turn. If you look at every single turn and analyze it in detail, there's always a, a slightly better move order or a slightly better square someone could have been in. Yeah. I guess so that's I why... I don't, I don't have any illusions about world, thinking, yeah. you know, I coach perfectly. It's just, I don't yeah. think that's possible. But I guess that's back what to the game you... for a second, sorry, just, uh, sorry. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. Dio should have blitzed with the, uh, with a blitzer there, I think he could have blitzed, yeah. gone back up, and then yeah. that would have let everyone get out, and I was very surprised he didn't blitz with a blitz, I guess he was going to go with a bomb blitz, but uh, I feel like he should have yeah, blitzed with a blitz. and this is, I, I don't see a way forwards now. Yeah. Well, you said I mean, two <sighs> turns ago, Jim, about um, um, Dio making a move. And actually, having uh, attacking the ball, and obviously, purple chest said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm not so sure." And I was a bit torn, but he's left it way too late now, hasn't he? He has now. Yep. It's looking, yeah, it's not looking good. He might still be able to throw something in the way. Well, it's shit or bust now, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you've got, got to, to get, you've got to dodge something in to cancel the the interior assist on this uh, Venger bus. Then you've got to cancel the uh, the guard at the front of the, the non guard piece at the front, and then you've got to dodge the witch in. And take a one die into two red dice. And even then, your recovery options are not fantastic. But I just don't see any other options here that stops this win for the the Chaos team. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what he's going to Bloody hell, Johnny Five. <laughs> <laughs> I was sort of agreeing I wasn't arguing. Although I'm arguing about not arguing now. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> Cam's even just taking argument notes. <laughs> the good thing about these dodges is that you can cancel the the, the oh, warrior no, at the front no. without any go for it. You can dodge in, not off tackle, so that you can have a re-roll as you go in with your two pieces. But yeah. I think that's the only way it gets done. Oh, he's, he wasn't in range. No, he's is he stopping short of the cancel? Yeah, he wasn't in range. He must not have been. It looked like he's in oh, range. Oh, he it? was in range. One, two, three, four. He was, he if was. he wanted to be. But so he must have misclicked somehow because he's not he's not he's on GFIs now. What the hell? He is, that's it's a strange route he's taken. Yeah. No, oh, he's stopping there. I mean he did go in the route I thought he should go in, but it didn't work. I did that not with the dark. Oh, he was going with the wrestle. Okay. Okay. So he was going to go with the red die wrestle. Yeah. Well, that's. I think that's game. Just score. Do you just score? I mean, I know it's kind of no, wrong to just. No, score. You wall up. You build the mega bunker. Mega bunker. No, I'd have scored. I think. Was that only seven elves? It could, it could be. There could be a riot though, couldn't there? Yeah. And yeah. You, I mean, there's only the witch and the rookie in range, so you, there's there's so little threat. Stop I'll be honest, I've done that everything. before. You know, when there was so little threat, and I scored thinking it was over anyway, and then they did get a riot on me. So actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess it is worth to to do it right. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd have blitzed the rookie. I think I'd have blitzed out with one of the pieces at the back. Yeah, that's now off the rookie there and put yet another piece in towards this yeah. cage. But he didn't know. stronger wall. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I mean by a mega bunker. It's a whole line that it's impossible to get around. Yeah. And then I just wish that Chaos Warrior was one step further in. Who coined the phrase mega bunker? Was it Pigstar? Someone like that, yeah. Spyro, wasn't it? Spyro did the mega bunker. Is it Spyro, was it? Yeah. Blimey. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the original one was a, a standard five cage with then another wall around the outside of it, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spiral the mega bunker. But I tend to use it for this sort of thing now, a, a stall in the corner with just big lines of men all side, in an L shape all the way around the ball in the middle. Lovely. So it's just, it's, it's so difficult to get into it. So, damage report, Mr. Sulu. So the chaos are going through, but they've taken a kick in. They have, haven't they? They've got a dead claw pommer. Yep. There's a, yeah. a dead, Not a dead uh, claw move, Sorry, a dead move up uh, rackle piece. Okay, claw that's not pommer. catastrophic, is it? It's not catastrophic. The claw pommer's only badly die. hurt. Yeah. The rest are uh, only badly there's, hurt. Yeah. There's a dirty player that's only badly hurt. And, yeah. And the third piece, the, uh, the guard piece, is again only badly hurt. So, really, it's only the rackle. Yeah, the apple, the dead the piece, man, didn't they? Corp on the but of the course, apple, uh... against Ducky's elves, a move-up rackle would probably be quite useful. Yeah. 
And of course they do come, as I said before, with a strength 5 elf. And uh, and the elf tries to go around the outside, doesn't get in. Worth a try, but always unlikely. Yeah, yeah, like obviously have a goal for it. I mean, with a true mega bunker, you, bunker, you have even that sideline space either filled or you have a piece there and then a gap further back to make the dodge through even harder. But it was enough. And the chaos go through. Yeah, right, I'm going to love you and leave you instantly, Jim, because I've got this uh, this game on um, Fumble. I need to go play now, but that was too much fun to leave, I'm sure. It was <laughs> Glorious. Well, thank you very much for PC. See you later, Absolute PC. pleasure. See you later, Calcium. Glorious. What a pleasure that one was. Sadly, Dio goes out, and Hankins goes marching on to face the enormous elves. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you very much, PC. Thank you very much, Calcium. Congrats, man. You're, wel you're welcome, mate. I'll leave you to it as well, because... Uh, you know, um, I'm nowhere near as good as PC, and I'll just ruin your stream. So, <laughs> <laughs> you're lovely, Carl. <laughs> I'll catch you soon. Cheers, buddy. See, cheers. See you. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.